what's up foodies thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me i really 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 appreciate that um thank you so much i'm so sorry i couldn't get a video out for you guys last week uh, i was just busy with life so i apologize for that but for today's recipe um, without wasting any more of your time let's get to making the recipe for you today what we're doing for you it's we're going to be making some paneer kebab for you paneer shish kebab so let's get to making the recipe for you all right guys so the first thing we're going to do to make the paneer kebab i've taken some paneer and then i have finally 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 just uh, broken it into like a fine fine powder you can uh, grate it or you can also go ahead and shred it as well now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some spices to it to bind uh, bind the dough out of it so the first thing we're adding of course salt to taste After adding salt to taste, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our finely chopped uh, ch uh, green chilies and I also have finely chopped uh, uh, ginger and, uh, and garlic as well. Super, super, super finely chopped. With that, I'm going to go ahead and add some dhania powder to it. I'm also going to add some turmeric powder to it. I'm going to go ahead and add some Kashmiri chili. <clears throat> With that, I'm going to add some roasted jeera powder. Jeera powder is uh, cumin, uh, cumin seeds. I'm going to add ample amount of chaat masala. And with that, we're going to add just a pinch of uh, garam masala. With that, I'm going to go ahead and add some finely, finely, finely chopped uh, um, cilantro and finely chopped mint leaves. And for binding, what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to add some all-purpose flour, which is manda flour. And I'm going to add some corn flour. Now, we're not going to add any water. The paneer already has water in it already. So we're not adding any more water to it. With this, we're just going to go ahead and mix it up and make a dough out of it. Alright guys, so once you need the dough out of it, what you're going to do is you're going to use your skewer. And uh, just with the skewer, you're just going to make a little kebab out of it. Now, my skewer, what I usually do is I usually let it sit for about uh, about 10 minutes or so. In, um, in water the reason why I let it sit in the water it's because when you cook the you know, when you cook on the skewer and if it's not sitting in the water then what it would do is it would go ahead and, uh, and start burning so all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna make kebabs and then we're gonna go out and grill the kebabs after that all right guys so once you make your skewers like that all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, and put the um, put the kebabs in a pan like this on a high heat with a little bit of ghee inside and once we put it in there all we're going to do is we're going to cook it on all sides just to make sure that they cook evenly all right guys so this is how we want to make sure that you get it cooked from all the sides um, and your kebab is going to be pretty much done all right guys so as you know the food is ready i'm not waiting on you let me know what you guys want to see me make in the next video until next time I'll see you soon. Have a great day.